Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets and it is that time of the year, which means that it's the end of quarter three for 2023. Today I wanted to go ahead and do, I can't find my black pen. I must have put it back. I want to go ahead and do our quarterly update and this let me see, because I want to copy the, I want to copy the format that I've used for the year. So today we are going to go ahead and do our overall debt picture for quarter three and go through the updates since last time um, we did our quarterly update. As far as the debts go, and as you know, I follow a modified snowball method. Uh, the first debt that we are currently doing, and I'm gonna have to kind of move this sideways. So we are doing, our first debt is the city, which has our medical. That currently has a balance of $5,323.82 with a 0% interest rate and a minimum payment of $53. Now we are currently putting $355 towards this debt in order to pay it off before it when oh, I've got something on my nail before it oop, that's some yogurt I apologize <laughs> um in order to get that down to zero before interest accrues which is in December of 2024 the second debt in priority is the chase slate that gets anything over the 355 that we put towards snowball every month it's currently sitting at three thousand one hundred forty seven dollars and four cents with a 14.99 percent interest rate and a minimum of 93 dollars the third of our credit cards a third and final credit card that we're paying off is the Freedom. Which is crazy to think because we started off with, I believe it was 12 credit cards. And that is currently sitting at $4,483.33 with an interest rate of 14.99% and a minimum of 122. Skipping a line for our personal loan, which is our fourth, is the upstart loan. I no longer have to split them up by upstart one and two because we only have one left. It is currently sitting at $26,835 and 75 cents with a 7.74 percent interest rate and a minimum payment of seven seven hundred seven eleven with four cents <laughs> sorry about that moving down to our totals and this believe it or not is all the debt that we're in at the moment which is awesome so let's go ahead and total these out. So our debt balance is So that is equal to 39,000 $789.94. And in minimum payments, we pay the 
$979.04. Let's compare this to the end of quarter two to just see how things have changed and what progress we've made. So we started off quarter two with five debts, two personal loans, and my husband's student loan. If you remember in August, we went ahead and paid off the student loan, or it was forgiven. We closed the Discover and the Southwest. So we are only left with those three credit cards and since then, upstart number one has been paid off, so we just have the value for, for upstart number two. Let's take a look at how much we've paid down. So, Citibank, which is the city that's on this quarter update, was at $5,848.32. <clears throat> it is currently sitting with $5,323.82, which means that we have paid off $524.50 within the last three months, and that's pretty good. The slate, which historically didn't move very much because the minimum payment was pretty low and then the interest rate would get tagged on and it just wouldn't move very much, the slate is currently, or it was at $3,003.51, and now it's currently sitting with $3,147.04, which means that we have paid off $156.47 in three months. I'm expecting this to kind of exponentially go up now that it is one of our snowball debts. So we'll see what it looks like at the end of the year, which would be quarter four. Last for credit cards, we have our Freedom. So Freedom was at $4,609.02 minus the $4,483.33. So that's gone down about $125.69. That is pretty much what it goes down because of the minimum and then the interest. So this card usually only goes down about $42 a, a month, which is why it's so important to me to tackle them and pay them down. The upstart loan, which is at a set payment of $711.04 for the entirety of the loan, was at 28,200, that didn't catch it, 28,252, 28,252 with 10 cents minus now that it's sitting at 26,835 with 75 cents. So that's gone down um, about $1,400 within the last three months, which makes sense because at the beginning of the loan, it takes more, and I'm sorry that that's an out of frame, but in the beginning of the, the loan, it takes more towards interest than later on in the, in the loan. So that's right on track. Now taking a look at the totals, and I'm gonna pull a pen. We ended up, we ended up our, and I'm not gonna use this student loan total anymore. I'm just gonna use the regular total since that loan had has been forgiven. We started off this quarter in 51,011 and 84 cents worth of debt and we are currently sitting with $39,789.94, which means that our debt has gone down $11,221.90 in the last three months. Now that is not typical. 
The reasoning behind that is that we did get a reimbursement for all the payments that we had made towards our student loan. And we set 30% into savings and then used the other 70% to pay off debt, which is why that Discover got paid off and that Southwest got paid off. But I will take that. <laughs> as far as our minimum payments, we were paying $2,247.64 in minimum payments at the end of quarter three, so in June. And we are currently paying $979.04 a month in minimum payments, which means that our minimum payments have gone down by, and that's a really small, so I'm gonna put it on the top. So it's gone down by 1,200, Oh, this pen, $1,268.60. And that is awesome. Now let's go ahead and go through trackers <clears throat> since it's always good to see them. Here is our, what I've always referred to as our big mama. So this is the tracker that I use for our upstart loans. If you notice, all of the higher debts, which I use tones of blue for, have been paid off. And we are currently just paying off that regular, the regular um, stars. We have 42 more stars to color in before we end up paying off this debt. But I love seeing more and more color on this sheet. <laughs> Next is the tracker that I use for our medical expenses. This last month, we were able to fill about 3%. I'm using the colors of the rainbow. And since the beginning of the quarter, we went into the quarter with this red. So we've paid off 10, 20, one, two, three, four, about 24 and a quarter percent of that medical debt, which is always exciting. I wanted to go ahead and introduce this new tracker. So I downloaded this as a free printable from, it says it's printables. So B-U-L-L-S at the end of it. And I thought this was perfect for the a way to track our last four debts. So basically what I've done is taken all four debts, divided them by 10% increments. And once I hit these totals, I'll start coloring them in. I decided to do this last month, so I still have not met even 10% of any of these debts, but I'm excited to see how our debt changes within the next quarter or year or until we pay it off. So that's always exciting. Last but not least is our kind of debt balance tracker. The months that aren't colored in are the ones that I did not do a closeout, which Unfortunately, I did have some mental health issues this year and um, that I had to take care of, but I do like the fact that it is a visual and that it has continued to come down. From June, which was the last time we did our um, quarterly update, we were sitting at $51,102 with 34 cents. And then when I take our current debt, which is $39,789.94, we have gone down 11, wait, $1,131, no, 
I'm off, $11,312 with 40 cents. One thing that really made me happy this month is the fact that now my line doesn't cover my numbers. Um, just little goals um, and little victories that kind of come up on this journey without us noticing. Anyways, my friends, this is where we are sitting at quarter at the end of quarter three. Stay tuned for the closeout for December because that's where we'll be sharing our quarter four. And at the end of March is when we will meet our second year of budgeting. So that closeout is just going to be tremendous. <laughs> Anyways, my friends, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. You have a wonderful quarter ahead and take care. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.